Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Juan Collero. Uh, I'm going to give you the, the next um, speech, which will be about uh, making data space uh, happen. Um, and first of all, uh, for those who may not know me, I'm Juan Collero. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of the Pagua Foundation. And well, um, when talking about, about making data happens, data space happen, um, yes, uh, FIWARE is all about making things happen. And actually, I wanted to start my presentation uh, bringing this slide, which uh, shows a number of facts and about what uh, FIWARE has been able to achieve in the last year. And I think it's, it has been a collective effort, not just the FIWARE Foundation, is uh, really an endeavor that was uh, starting in Europe. And now we can proudly say that it's expanding in, uh, globally all over the world. And um, yeah, we have uh, been able to drive uh, some uh, crucial standardization efforts. And uh, when talking about how uh, to design, how to implement smart solution in different domains, uh, we bring a standard for uh, um, which is currently um, growing in adoption uh, for support to access to context digital twin data that was NGS highly uh, that uh, was finally published within uh, Etsy um, and has been part of the rolling plan on ICT standardization uh, published by the European Commission. But recently, and, and this is something that um, uh, we should all be very proud about, um, uh, adopted by the Bureau of Indian Standards, precisely to support everything that has to do with data exchange. We have been driving uh, uh, the Smart Data Models program, which is now a fast growing, community driven uh, approach, creating uh, the library of data models for developers that uh, more and more projects are using today. We are talking about 600 uh, uh, data models already, uh, more than 14,000 terms uh, with 100 contributors. Uh, technology that has become the de facto standard in cities, not only in Europe, but beyond. In uh, uh, more than 200 cities in many countries all over the world. Um, the basis for the implementation of uh, the means that were adopted first by the Open and Agile Smart Cities Initiative, but uh, then later um, endorsed by the Living in You uh, Initiative. Um, a technology that has been adopted also in other domains. And we are talking about things that are already in the market and, and business and companies creating business around this open source technology and, um, and a vibrant and growing community around with more than 100 organizations already, organizations like Red Hat joining um, its platinum member and many SMEs, not just large companies creating business around. So, the message here is we know how to make things happen. We have that experience is, and, and we are here to, to, the, to do it for data spaces. Um, we also believe we cannot do this just alone. It's better if we join forces. And um, well, you probably have heard uh, because there have been some sessions on the matter these days that PDBA, Fiware, GaiaX, and IDSA uh, launched the Alliance to accelerate the business transformation and the creation of data spaces in Europe. This was launched September 23rd. And um, I think this is uh, something about which the Fiware community is quite excited and um, where we want to channel all these efforts towards creation of uh, data spaces towards making them happen. Um, there is um, 
a quite um, uh, ambitious plan in place, a uh, 100 day uh, work plan that is uh, under design and will be and, and implemented as, as we speak, uh, where one of the main results that are expected is actually bringing a common framework for uh, support of these interoperable data spaces. And the exciting uh, part of this is that uh, if we zoom up all the organizations that are behind uh, the four of uh, these organizations that, uh, that have been joining, deciding, deciding to join forces, we are talking about more than 1,000. Uh, leading key industry players. So definitely um, a way how we could um, bring impact if we join forces. Also, um, in terms of cap uh, capillarity and the way we could um, approach and reach out all the target um, um, uh, players and particularly SMEs, to give an example, in, across Europe, uh, based on the uh, network of uh, digital innovation hubs that uh, each of these organizations have. But let's talk a little bit about the vision, the vision that uh, Fiverr is bringing on the table and particularly bringing within the context and the umbrella of this Data Space Business Alliance. And from this perspective, uh, data spaces, we see this as the next natural step in digitization. Um, so far in the previous years, we have been focused in the first two steps you see here in the slide. First of all, how we could create smart solutions, smart solutions combining the best of uh, IoT, uh, big data, AI, to create um, the uh, sort of solutions that uh, help to improve um, uh, existing processes, solve concrete challenges. As a second step, how uh, we could bring technology that helps to integrate the different systems within a given organization, uh, breaking the information silos, integrating um, vertical applications that might be solving a specific challenges that uh, all together could uh, help to um, develop an holistic vision about what's going on in the organization and how uh, that organization can move forward and, and provide a better service to its customers and, and, um, and um, uh, operate better. And the next step is precisely about um, how those organizations, which may have already reached a um, um, relevant level of digitization, could really start to exchange with others, uh, other organizations, and, and, and boost the way uh, new innovative services can be created, and digitization can then be expanded across the whole data value chain. Um, that is what data space are all about from our vision. And what is also very important in that vision is the element that is somehow common to all these steps and what actually should pay the way for making this third step um, a more natural step, which is the approach of adopting a digital twin paradigm, how we model information, what is the kind of data uh, the different participants will exchange in data spaces. Because if the digital twin uh, approach is the one we have been adopted for creating the vertical solutions, the approach that has been taken about um, how to digitize uh, a given organization, then it's all about uh, organization exchanging part of the uh, digital twin uh, data representation they have uh, of the world 
exchange, share that information, and all together build a digital twin representation of the world each of the participants of the data phase can rely on to improve their own process and uh, build together um, um, uh, better services and innovative uh, uh, services based on creation of value around data. But data that is uh, consisting on digital twin data. Um, continue with this vision, I would like to emphasize something that sometimes we is not that emphasized. Uh, uh, many people, when talking about data spaces, talk about uh, data sovereignty, uh, trust. That is, of course, important. But as important as that is, what is the language that participants within those data spaces will speak? What are they going to be exchanging about? And very important, uh, uh, support a number of principles, like, for instance, data providers being able to publish data resources, um, knowing that whatever consumer, potential consumer of those data resources will uh, know how to consume that. And, and, and you may not know what are those consumers of your uh, data services. The same way, the other way around. So consumers should be able, data consumers should be able to connect to those data spaces um, and be able to discover who is offering services, uh, who is publishing data resources and then how to connect them uh, uh, and, and be able to exchange data. This requires all participants to speak the same language. There is no miracle in that respect. And from this perspective, uh, talking about the same language means uh, defining the sentence you construct, the dictionary you are using, and, um, and means for understanding, identifying who speaks and and defines and rules for the exchange. And therefore, in our vision of data spaces, these are relevant aspects to be uh, agreed upon all participants and um, ideally standardized within Europe if we want data spaces across the main to um, flourish. Actually, data space powered by FIWARE in that respect are going to be about smart solutions, smart solutions exchanging digital twin data and doing so based on standard API, that is NGSILD. And since uh, a growing uh, number of organizations have already adopted it for the Dyson, their, uh, the way they integrate systems, it will be a natural step to expose uh, the data using the same API also means agreeing uh, on data models. And here is where we, from Fiverr, uh, we will propose in um, the models we are defining uh, following this community-driven approach through the Smart Data Models Initiative. Will mean um, define, defining an, an, a common mechanisms for identity and access management. And here we start with standards like EIDAS adopted in Europe, OpenID Connect, but we are evolving to support verified credentials, present verified pre uh, uh, presentations, um, language for defining policies and, and so on. Also the way publication and marketplace services uh, can be uh, defined because very important is what means you offer to uh, allow participants to publish their data resources and um, be able to monetize those data resources. Last but not least, provenance, traceability, uh, important aspects. And here is where from our perspective, uh, integration with distributed ledger technologies will play a crucial role. This vision is aligned with the design principles for data spaces that was recently published. 
this is a work I recommend everyone to take a look because I think it was a collective effort by many experts identifying which were the building blocks that uh, um, supporting um, uh, a vision for achieving interoperability, trust, and last but not least, data value creation uh, were needed and, 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 and are required to uh, develop data spaces in Europe. But we need to move from vision to execution. And uh, one of the major um, contributions that from FIWARE community we uh, are developing is under the umbrella of a project called i for trust So let me spend a few minutes to talk a little bit about that. What i for trust brings is precisely the uh, idea of uh, creating a solid framework software that works and available on GitHub uh, based on the selection of a number of firewall components and integrated with the iShare scheme. Uh, iShare Foundation is an organization with a large experience in the Netherlands, precisely implementing data spaces. All of uh, that uh, standard base compatible with the Connecting Euro Facility Building Blocks. Uh, we talk about EIDAS, set context broker, uh, standards I have already mentioned, and training material already available for developers to start working with them. Coming soon, and when I say coming soon means uh, first quarter of next year, um, we will extend this framework that already exists, incorporating connected technologies, supporting uh, verifiable credentials presentations as the alternative to OpenID Connect, but it's still um, allowing OpenID Connect to be used and the integration with distributed ledger technologies to support transparency and auditing of processes. First implemented with Alastria, but with, uh, which is, um, quite powerful uh, blockchain network operating in Spain, uh, but soon uh, moving and migrating to EPSI, the European Blockchain Service Infrastructure. And several pioneer experiments have just been selected in the context of this project. 15 experiments already involving 15 digital innovation hubs and 84 SMEs. Uh, from 14 countries across Europe, which will start January 2022 uh, to work with this framework and uh, start uh, developing the uh, data spaces uh, for Europe. Um, i for trust is one major element we are um, through which we are bringing um, contributions to the data space business alliance I mentioned before. And actually this discussion, how all these elements that I have announced will be coming soon uh, is a discussion that is taking place within the data space business alliance architecture coherence working group that was created. So just to finish, and this is the summary slide, um, main message from my side and happy to connect with you and answer questions uh, through uh, my email. So you can reach me whenever uh, you need. So first message, uh, vision and design principles are important, but we need to perform a successful transfer to the market. And this has to start now. And uh, starting now means leveraging on what exists Fiber has a good track record in moving from vision to execution. There are things uh, already there working. We shall not reinvent the wheel, but leverage relevant open standards, set building blocks, open source frameworks that exist. I think uh, all that was the, uh, the main incentives why the Data Space Business Alliance was created. So uh, we really want to uh, channel uh, all these efforts through this alliance in which 
we are really betting and uh, we welcome uh, contributions uh, from the community in that regards. And well, we need um, projects, projects that can help to really um, develop the references and test the technology and uh, learn as we go. And this is where a project like IFO Trust uh, will help and um, where uh, Fireware, as I mentioned, uh, aims to contribute um, uh, major ingredients uh, to the data space business alliances. With this, I finished the speech and thank you very much. Uh, here you have my contact details and uh, don't hesitate to contact uh, me if you have uh, further questions or you wanna learn more about Fireware for Data Spaces, I for Trust, or the Data Space Business Alliance. Thank you very much, Dr. Yu.